Uh, this is an interesting topic, Ian, that we, we almost brought this up last time, but for some reason we didn't want to. But it's something that you're very excited about. It's the Super SD System 3. Why don't you tell us all, Ian, what it's all about? So there are some reviews on this out already, and I, I would like to look into it a little bit more. But this is just um, something that's particularly interesting to me. The Super SD System 3 is uh, an SD card adapter that can plug into the expansion port on a um, PC Engine um, and I believe a TurboGrafx-16 as well. Yeah, it should be the same. In the yeah, back. PC Engine, Core Graphics, Core Graphics 2, and Super Graphics. Um, it allows you to play uh, the um, Who cards, um, Turbo Chip, uh, and then CD, Super CD, and even arcade CD-ROM um, ISOs um, directly from an SD card uh, without the need for the CD hardware um, or even an arcade card. It will double as the arcade card. Um, it'll, it'll act as the arcade card. And the arcade card is, is the 3.0 card plus... The extra memory for what is it, fifteen to twenty games? Yeah, something like that. Something around like those like, lines. like the like the Neo Geo arcade games. Yeah, like mostly that. Neo Geo arcade ports, um, Fire Pro Women's, and um, that up while we do this, and uh, a handful of Mahjong games. <laughs> Are you? I have them. Are you serious? Yeah, there's like two, like two Mahjong games, I like think. The most three. advanced Mahjong games known to man. Uh, lots <laughs> of animation. <laughs> so, uh, it's. Expensive. Uh, it's about three hundred bucks. It's more. It's more than that when you do the pat math. It's like three twenty. Two hundred forty euros. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not cheap. But you know what? It was, we were talking about this before. I was surprised how much in value the arcade card went up in value. The orange, because I bought mine in two thousand ten for like thirty bucks. Yeah. And now it's worth like what one hundred eighty, two hundred, something like that. Oh yeah, and this also does like H. Uh, this also does RGB out. This also has RGB output, which is pretty impressive. So it depends on what you want to do. It sounds very expensive, and it is, but it does quite a lot if it does it well. Um, so you can get a standard core turbo PC engine. Especially if you're looking at a PC Engine or a Core Graphics or a little something square, like that. little white or gray one. Yeah, you can get those for relatively cheap online. If you don't have to get them shipped, they're like forty bucks, right? Yeah, fifty, fifty, sixty. You know, they're cute. They're tiny. They should have been like that in the U.S. They should have been cute. Um, with this, so you're looking at three fifty. This eliminates the need for you to get an arcade card. Oh, this can't plug into a turbo. Now I'm looking at it. Okay, it's t it's different in the back. I think. Yeah, I think it's different. Uh, so it plugs into, let me double check here. PC Engine Core Graphics, Core Graphics yeah, no too, turbo. Super Graphics. That's fine. Okay. So it plugs into those and it gives you all of your CD capability. AV multi-out, composite video and stereo audio. Compatible with Mega Drive or Genesis 2 AV cables. There you go. Those everyone, those are cheap. Yep. You buy those for $1.50. And it gives you the arcade card function. So an arcade card pro is, uh, that's what you need for the um, non-duo units. That goes for shit like two hundred, I think. One fifty. The system, the three, just the regular three point No, the arcade card pro. The the one we're talking about, yeah, it was like eight one eighty when I looked it up last. Okay, night. those are so that's expensive. Keep in mind, there's only I, I looked it up. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eleven arcade CD ROM games, and then for regular, uh, that's and, it. Yeah, there's okay. only eleven. And then um, the arcade card duo is about fifty to seventy bucks. It's only I think. eleven. I thought there was more than that. So, if you want to go with a, um, if you want to do software on hardware, if you want to go essentially an EverDrive route, this is a fantastic way to do it. This is way better than going with. Right, it works. Well, because you, well, you get the CD games too. If you, if you find yeah, the, if you find this, the ISOs for them, so many of the great games on the PC Engine are CD based. Um, the the uh, Turbo and the PC Engine Ever drives are fantastic. But I've always told people the thing that is less than stellar about it is half the library is missing. You're only accounting for one half the library, um, and you can still burn those. But burning CD-ROM games for the PC Engine 
is a nightmare. You have to do it as slow as you possibly can. Um, it's not as simple as just finding uh, necessarily an ISO. You have to find a specific type. Sometimes you have to load, uh, you know, you have to load a wave files separately for the background oh, music okay yes um it can be difficult this makes it a whole lot easier and you don't need to have you know need to go and buy a ton of you know blank cds and constantly check these and retry these plus there's always the talk of how burning the cds for the um, pc engine ruins the cd drive taxes it harder because um you're you're already burning lower quality cds Okay. That's what everyone has said. I, I, it sounds strange to me just because the CDs that were made in the late 80s, early 90s aren't as good as the ones you'd get today. So... It just sounds strange to me. If This is... It's expensive, but for what you pay, you should get... Yeah. An, all, okay. an all-encompassing emulation on original hardware. In-game in menu trigger for faster loading. Solution. Store each game backup RAM to micro SD, allowing infinite game saves. That's pretty cool. It is because uh, the memory can be fickle on a PC engine as well. So, I can you also play Turbo Hue card images on this? Are they dot PCE? Are they? I think they are. I think they are. Mm -hmm. Without, yeah, I think that yeah, they should be exactly the same. I would imagine. Yeah, I don't think that'd be locked. Okay, so so this for the right person, I would say for the person that already has, I'd say the core graphics or original PC engine this is probably their best route yeah to me to me now that said i would still love to see a modernized something like that like that uh freaking what was that that freak system or it was built in it was like the retron 5 but also had turbo games built in i would love to have a solution to get hdmi out you know on a modern system you know i mean a modern sort of turbo slash cd system that's what i would like sure maybe we're not there yet maybe this is the the, a go between or an alternative option. I'd be interested in yeah. how many people would prefer the RGB. I would prefer the RGB over the HDMI, and that's what they have. I wonder if that yeah, was a choice. Yeah, most people don't have something with RGB. Yeah, but a lot of people who are playing this well, would want that. Yeah, this is very targeted. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, this isn't a mass. This isn't an item for mass consumption anyway. Well, it has the AV multi out as well, but you're not, there's no HDMI. Positive video. Okay. All right. Well, get this to play your 11 CD arcade games. I already have. I only have. I have the Neo Geo ones, which is like three of them, right? World yeah. Heroes. There's Fatal Fury Special, I think. Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 2, and. Uh, Here's the list. Let's just go through the fucking fighting. list. There's only 11 of them. Um, so you got Garu Densetsu 2. That's Fatal Fury. That's Fury, Fatal Fury Two. You have Ryu no Ken, which is Art of Fighting, which I love that game. You get World Heroes Two, which I so I think I have all three of those. Then you get Mad Stalker Full Metal Fourth. Never played that. Looks cool to be beat him up. You get the Strider game in there. Okay. Uh, Battlefield ninety four in Tokyo Dome. No idea what that is. That's uh that's Fire Pro Women's. I have that. Okay, that's what it is. Fatal Fury Special, which I have that one. Uh, another uh, Fire Pro Joshi. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the one I have. Okay. So that's... What is that one? Is that, is that the, the female one? Or which one that's is that? That's the female one. Okay. Um, so I don't think I played that. And then you have uh, Far East of Eden, a, it's a series of role-playing video games. Okay. It's a role-playing game. And then finally, you get uh, Sapphire. Uh, there's Sapphire. Well, then it's missing some. There's also Mahjong Sword and then... Well, this is just Wikipedia, so it must be missing something. Mahjong Sword, and then there's another Mahjong one. Although some of there's games that can use the arcade card that don't require it, which are missing oh, okay. from maybe, that list. Maybe that's why it is. Okay, you're just, you're good with just the three uh, two point card, or excuse me, three point card for a Super CD ROM. Remember, Super CD ROM, you need a three point card, which in the U.S. is is goes for a ton of money. Uh, I think it's like two hundred dollars the U.S. one, unless you had a. Uh, Turbo Duo, Duo which was beat it, uh, built in, but then you still needed the arcade card. But in the U.S., they didn't have it because they didn't have because we got we got shit on in the U.S. when it came to this stuff. So all right, well, so Ian Ian might get this if he saves his allowance money. I probably will not. Yeah, I'll probably keep collecting physical. I just think it's a really cool thing that's out there now. 